Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, there's nothing here, and today I've come up with a very amazing problem. It's an original problem. And guys, liking, sharing, subscribing is love. So keep sharing, keep liking, and keep subscribing. So here is the problem uh, statement. There is an infinite grid of resistors R1 and R2. A battery of EMF E0 and an ideal voltmeter V is connected as shown in the figure. What will be the reading of uh, this voltmeter? So here you can uh, see this uh, circuit. So first uh, job here will be to find the effective resistance of this circuit. So because in uh, infinite circuits, that will be the best approach. But here there will be a problem that uh, one resistance is R1 and another resistance is R2. So, uh, so how to approach this type of problem? Because uh, normally in infinite uh, resistance problems, we always write uh, the effective resistance is a number times one of the basic resistance which is given and most of the problems you will see answer is r by 4 to r by 3 root 5 r like this some number times r will be the answer so here we don't know in what combination these r1 r2 we can take so first thing what i am going to do here is i'll be using so that i can uh, express the entire problem in one unit I'll be writing this R1 as KR2 where uh, uh, this R1 by R2 ratio is K and K definitely will be a positive real number. All right. And this may be R and 2R, uh, R4R, R7R, R seven R like this some ratio will be given. So now here in order to find the effective resistance, you can say this will be KR2. This is R2 this is r2 where k is a number and this will become kr2 r2 so all the uh, resistances are in terms of uh, uh, r2 so i can write now this r effective is of the form of lambda times r2 so where lambda is a positive number of course uh, which is if i calculate this lambda somehow then i am going to get the answer so now uh, i'll break this uh, grid here including this resistance r1 so you can see here this entire unit is like original circuit here so even this resistance is going to be lambda r2 so now my new circuit will be here i'm replacing it this is lambda r2 and lambda r2 is connected at this point so you can see here and these are the resistances here uh, kr2 r2 r2 and this resistance is lambda r2 and the equivalent resistance is also lambda r2 now if i just flip it or twist it so you will see a very nice circuit will uh, come here this resistance blue one is lambda r2 and r2 and r2 are in uh, series just you have to flip it around uh, this point uh, so here uh, you can say and the equivalent is lambda r2 so now these three in uh, series with this in parallel is equal to lambda r2 so i can write uh, r uh, this k r2 and this will become lambda plus 2 r2 divided by uh, the sum of these two and that is equal to lambda r2 so r2 gets cancelled and when i simplify i'm going to get a quadratic equation in lambda in terms of k so if i write the root of it one root is positive one root is negative so we have to choose the positive number so when i simplify i'm going to get this lambda as minus one plus root of one plus two k now i'm going to substitute the value of uh, k of course here in this so r effective is this lambda times r2 so i'm rearranging this term so i'm going to get one plus two k minus one times r2 now if i substitute the value of k which is uh, r1 by r2 my effective resistance becomes 1 plus uh, root of 1 plus 2 r1 by r2 minus 1 times r2 if i take this uh, inside here this is going to be the final answer for uh, r effective which is root of r2 square plus 2 r1 r2 minus r2 all right very few circuit we see th with this kind of uh, resistance distribution r1 r2 so I hope it, it would have given a new approach to you for solving uh, such type of circuit. Now the final point is for reading of uh, voltmeter. This becomes very easy. Voltmeter is connected across uh, this R effective. You can uh, see here in the original diagram. Uh, this entire part if I take and voltmeter is connected across it. So I can say I have to find out the effective uh, potential difference across this grid here. So now uh, when I do this, this is the new circuit here, you can see 
kr2 and uh, this these two are in uh, parallel here and it's ideal voltmeter so it will not be withdrawing any current so total current if you want to write which is uh, supplied by the battery and the current which is reaching here is uh, simply i can write as e naught by r effective plus 2 r2 right so reading is going to be i2 times r effective here across uh, this resistance and if i substitute the value of this uh, e2 it will become e not r effective by r effective plus 2 r2 now if i substitute the final values of uh, r effective here i am going to get this uh, potential difference as e not times root of r2 square plus 2 r1 r2 minus r2 divided by root of r2 Two square plus two r one r two plus r two. This is going to be the final answer for this problem. So I hope, guys, there is a lot of learning in this problem. If this is the case, please leave a like, share this video with uh, others, and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it. Thank you.